Hey everyone, welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Alex and today we're going to be stretching our shoulders. This is going to be a follow along video. So I'm going to do the warm up with you. I'm then going to give you three exercises for active flexibility. So just a little bit of muscle work that we are going to do together and then three passive stretches for our shoulders at the end. You don't need any kind of equipment. If you have a yoga mat, you can use it. Or if you have yoga blocks, you can go and get them as well. Otherwise, all we need is a little bit of time and a little bit of space. Let's get started. I always like to start with a little bit of cardio. So if you're doing this in a gym, you can go and run a little bit on a treadmill or bike a little bit. But if you're doing it at home, we're going to start with star jumps. So we're just going to be doing nice and big star jumps. We're going to go for 30 of them. If you can't jump in your apartment, we're just going to be standing wide, squatting down, reaching up. So 30 times. <laughs> Let's say we have like 10 left maybe, eight, Four, three, two, one. And we're going to be running on the spot. If you can't run because you may be living in an apartment, this is very noisy. Then you can just be doing squats here. But for now we're running. And we're going to be running with high knees. and kicking our heels to our butt. If you're doing squats, you can keep on doing them. If you're starting to get very tired from that, we're going to be doing lunges. For the rest of us, we're still running. And now we're all together going to be doing lunges. So I'm lunging down, coming back up, switching legs. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Pretty nice. I actually got a little bit tired from this. Good, I hope you feel a little bit warm. If not, just repeat the whole thing again. And we're going to start with some active flexibility. So I lie down on my stomach and we're going to start with warming up our upper back. If you often experience pain in your lower back, remember to warm up your lower back as well. But for now, I'm going to be lifting my upper body and I really want to be thinking about not lifting through my lower back. So all I do, I lift up through my upper back. So my ribs are still down on the ground here and I think about pulling my shoulder blades as far back as I can, looking up with my head and trying to create as much of an arch as you can in this area here. So we're gonna go for 30 of these, if you like, you can do two times 15. So I'm just lifting up, thinking about arching through my upper back. Remember to be pulling your shoulder blades back together, shoulders as far back as you can. You can be thinking about trying to touch your elbows together behind you, if that helps you. We have 10 left. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. 
Really nice. We're going to do another exercise also lying down on our stomach. I'm going to reach my hands out in front of me. My head goes down to the mat. And I'm going to be and I'm going to be lifting up one arm at a time, thinking about keeping my arms super straight, rotating the back of my elbow down to the ground and lifting up as high as I can. If you can't lift up very high, that's fine, but just try to keep your head down on the ground and not bend your arms. And we're gonna go for 15 on each arm. Fifteen. When you're done switching arms, really nice. The next exercise is quite similar. So our head still stays down on the mat, but now I'm going to be bending my arms, trying to reach as far back as I can stretching them back out and we're gonna go for 10 head still down on the mat lifting our hands up as high as we can last one Really nice. So we're gonna do one more exercise. So I'm coming up to a downward facing dog. The one right there, my hands are the easier it is. And I'm going to be bringing my head down to the mat and back up. And we're gonna go for two times 10. If this is very hard, you can be bending your legs a little bit. That makes it just a little bit easier. Really nice. A little break if you need and 10 more. And two more. And one last one. Really nice, cool. I hope you feel warm. We're going to now move on to some more passive stretching for our shoulders. So we're going to do exercises for time. So I'm going to put a timer on and we're going to do it for 30 seconds, two times on each exercise. And if you need more, you can always do a little bit more when the video is over. So the first one is just a simple shoulder stretch that you have probably seen many times. So I'm here. I'm going to be bringing my chest down to the ground, looking up with my head. If I slide a little bit further forwards, it's just going to put a little bit more stretch in my shoulders. 30 seconds of that. If that's too easy, we're going to be using a wall. I'm just going to use this, but it's actually better with a flat wall. So I'm going to be placing my hands on. I'm going to be arching as much as I can through my upper back, looking up with my head, trying to bring my chest to the wall. I really wanna make sure that we're trying to arch as much as we can through our upper back and our, our lower back. So the way you can control that is the further down your hands are, the more you're going to arch through your upper back and the higher up your hands are, the more you're gonna arch through your lower back. So make sure your hands are quite far down also making sure that we're wrapping our shoulders this way. So the back of our elbow is going down so I can separate the shoulder blades on my back so I have more space to stretch. And I'm going to be arching, pushing my chest to the wall two times, 30 seconds. So the timer has started and we're going to be arching, pushing our chest as far to the wall as we can. Once you feel like this is becoming 
too easy for you, you can always be bringing your hands further down. Three, two, and one. Coming up, really nice. A tiny break and we're gonna do it again. So breathing in, exhaling as we come down. Another 30 seconds. And three, two, and coming up. For a second exercise, you're going to need something heavy. So if you have weights at home, you can go and grab weights. And if not, you can just be using a book. And there are two options. You can either be sitting the way I do now. So you separate your legs, trying to sit on your bum. You're gonna be lifting your hands up as high as you can. And we wanna be thinking about arching through your upper back as much as we can, bringing our hands as far back as you can. If this is difficult to sit like this, we can be doing the same here. You just want to make sure that you're arching as much as you can. So I'm not pushing my hips forwards. My hips are back as if I'm sitting down, arching, arching and bringing my hands as far back as I can. So this is a mix of active and passive flexibility. So we really need to be squeezing your muscles. But if the weight you're using is heavy enough, you can actually use it as a passive stretch. So we're going to do the same two times 30 seconds. Three, two, and one. Three, two, and one. Really nice. Some of you might feel it in your lower back as well, but we really try to not use our lower back for this one that much and just arch mainly through our upper back and our shoulders. Okay. And we're gonna go for one more 30. So really pushing your chest to the front as much as you can, squeezing everything in your back so you can arch the most you can, bringing your hands back as far. Three, two, and one. Really nice. So for our last exercise, you're going to need a chair. And for this exercise, you can be stretching both shoulders at the same time, or you can be stretching one and one arm. So we're gonna go for 30 seconds uh, on each as well. And it's quite similar to the first one we did. My hands are on the chair. I don't want to be arching a lot through my lower back. So I try to keep my lower back rounded a little bit and I push my chest down to the ground as much as I can. It also helps to place the chair against the wall or something so you can walk your knees a little bit back and that just gives you a little bit more weight through your chest. And we're gonna go for 30 seconds with straight arms and then we're going to do 30 seconds with bent arms. So I've started the timer. 30 seconds here. Remember not to arch too much through your lower back. This is all in our shoulders and our upper back separating our shoulder blades so we have more space to arch through the top part of our back and we have 10 seconds left three two and one we're going to go straight into the one with bent arms As I said before, if our knees are a little bit further away from the chair, it just puts more weight through our shoulders, so it makes the stretch a little bit harder. We have 10 seconds left. Three, 
three, two, and one. So this was all I had for today. Thank you so much for joining. If you need a little bit more, you can always do a few more of the exercises we have done together. I would probably usually spend like about half an hour to 60 minutes stretching my shoulders. So if you have more time, you can make your workout a little bit longer. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining. And if this helps you in any kind of way, please consider subscribing just because it really supports me here. And thanks to all of you that have already subscribed and that support me and comment and like my videos. It really, really means a lot to me.